wet, 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 What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hey girl, hey, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, girl. You need to be notified every time that I upload. I'm so close to hitting a milestone and I need y'all's help to spread the word about my channel to everybody y'all know to come over and subscribe and make sure that their notifications are on. So yeah, you guys, I really appreciate that. So y'all, today's video is going to be a first impressions and wear test on the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. So yeah, this is what the foundation looks like. I have been seeing this foundation going around for quite some time now, but until recently when I saw Face Over Matter raving about it on her IG story, I'm like, okay, I need to go pick that up. And we wear pretty much the, all the same foundation shades, so I just went with hers, and it was actually a perfect match. Foundation retails between $9.99 and $11.99, $11.99 being Rite Aid and Ulta. They always have the highest prices. I got mine from Target for $9.99. You can also get it for $9.99 at Walmart. If you have dry skin, especially in the wintertime. Um, it's spring, but not really in Michigan yet. It's really not spring, it's still winter. Yeah. Closer to summer, my skin will become combination, but right now it's still very much so dry. So I always do exfoliate when I wash my face. Pretty much like once a week I do a face mask. I didn't do one today though. Um, I love the packaging of this foundation. I love that it has a pump, come through pump for the drugstore, okay? Let's get into the, yeah. the shade 757 Golden Tan in Target. So I'm like, I might as well just get it right now. It was $9.99 at Target. Y'all know any of my drugstore foundations I pretty much get from Walmart and Target. That's where they are the cheapest. If you go to Rite Aid or Ulta, they will be on the more expensive side, just so y'all know. This foundation claims to be a lightweight full coverage. The formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and antioxidants so it says that it has vitamin e b3 and b5 on here with spf 20. so since it's claiming to be full coverage i am going to color correct on the other side brush on this side sponge on this side you already know the drill so i have already sprayed my face with my pure hydrating miracle mist and then I moisturize with my old Henriksen Sheer Transformation Moisturizer. And now I'm gonna prime with my Fenty Beauty Primer. Y'all already know what time it is. And if y'all are wondering why I prime to do a foundation review, for the simple fact I'm going to wear primer when I wear the foundation, so I don't really see the point in me not priming. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Go ahead, start off with the right side of my face with my sponge. So the color looks pretty good and I'll probably zoom in so y'all can see the texture of the foundation is pretty thick. It's not loose at all, as y'all can see. It's not falling off of my hand. Pretty thick. This color seems like it might be a really, really good match. Yeah, that seems like it'll be a good match. It smells like perfume. It definitely has a perfume smell to it. It's not bad or it doesn't stink or anything, but if you have sensitive skin, you might wanna watch out for that because it definitely has a scent to it. So that was one pump. So let's see how this blends out. First of all, this color match though, y'all, the color match is spot on. Do y'all see this? The color match is spot on. That definitely was not enough foundation. It didn't stop right here, it didn't really move anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another pump and a little bit down here and blend this out with my sponge. We got this color match is everything. Okay, so if y'all can see this, which I pray that it is showing up true to color on camera, y'all, this is the exact 
color of my skin right now. Like, this is crazy. I'm gonna come over to this side, and I guess I'm gonna see if I need to color correct with my brush. If I do, I'll just put a little bit on there and then cover it up with some foundation, just so I can give both sides an equal chance. So I'm going to put one pump on my brush and start to blend this out. This is the Morphe M439 brush. Okay, y'all, so that one pump really didn't go that far. I just tried to stretch it, but it didn't really make it that far. So from looking at the foundation right now in my mirror, I like the way that it looks better with my sponge. It just looks a little bit weird on the brush side, and it barely covered up anything. That one pump barely spread all over anyway, but um, yeah, I think it looks better over here. Now, if y'all can see, which I hope is picking up on camera, it's is not completely matte. It has a radiant type of glow to it, but not greasy looking, if that makes sense. I'm definitely gonna have to color correct. Um, the full coverage part of this, I'm not quite agreeing with that. Um, maybe we can build it up to full coverage, which is, I mean, it's pretty weird because the foundation is on the thicker side, but it's not giving the coverage. Like, y'all can clearly still see my mold. I'm pretty sure you can still see the dark circles up under my eyes because I can and you can clearly see the hyperpigmentation around my mouth so not really seeing the full coverage right now so what I'm gonna do a master cameo color correcting pen put a little bit up under my eyes and then around my mouth and blend that out Okay, so I'm going to go over this color corrected area with my foundation. Actually, I'm just going over my whole face with my sponge and probably just do my mouth area with my brush since the brush always gives a more full coverage. And let's see if we can build this up to full coverage. Let's see. Okay, so now that is definitely looking more full around my mouth already. Okay, my mouth area is looking good now. So let's go ahead and do the rest of my face with my sponge. Okay, y'all, I'm loving this color match. I really hold up true to color on camera. After doing this second layer, I can already tell a difference. I can definitely see the like radiance a lot now that I've done the sponge on my entire face. Not really see a oily girl liking or gravitating towards this foundation. That's just my opinion. Um, but I can only give y'all my opinion on what I'm going to experience with this on. So I'm pretty sure that my camera will pick it up glowing. Like there's a lot of glow going on in this foundation right now. Shade range. Um, this is not how I remember seeing it in the store, but I'm on CoverGirl's actual website. So this has to be like the actual shade range. So there are, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. There's 14 shades, which they could definitely do better with that. So after my shade, which is 757 Gold and Tan, there are three more shades after mine. So you have Classic Tan, which will probably be like my summer shade or something. And then you have Soft Sable and Tawny. Tawny does not even look that dark. Honestly, Soft Sable looks darker. So, 
yeah this this shade range is not looking that great for us women of color honestly this is my first covergirl foundation but i know that covergirl has the queen collection so i don't know i just thought that they would have a better selection but i guess they maybe only focus on darker shades in the queen collection i don't know i'm done um, the canadian version of this foundation the packaging looks exactly the same except the word healthy is not in the title it just says covergirl vitalis elixir so i'm not really sure if it doesn't have the vitamins that this one has or the spf 20. um i don't know i'll insert a picture of it though for you guys so you can see so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup i'll list the products that i use down below and um, also any foundation shades that i use i will leave those down below as well and i'll be right back. okay y'all i'm done with my makeup i'm so sorry i've been done with my makeup for like two hours now i completely forgot that i was doing a wear test like i had finished my makeup and i'm just you know walking around the house i'm like oh never came back to show y'all what it looked like so i apologize for that so right now it is 5 17 but like i said i've been done for almost two hours so it was probably about maybe three ish that i was finished with my makeup so i apologize for that so this is two hours so y'all can see exactly what the foundation is looking like it's holding up very well now i was having a little bit of an issue with my concealer when i was blending it out um it was looking kind of chalky and it's my ColourPop concealer that i use all the time so what i had to do was go in with my sephora bright future gel shade that i use is 12 pecan pie so this has more of a yellowish undertone so i had to like put this on the edges and then blend it out and then it blended out together really good but my color pop concealer on its own was not blending out that great so i would suggest not to use the color pop concealer if you guys are going to try this foundation out right now as of like what everything looks like my experience with the foundation I will give it a three out of five, being that I don't like their shade range at all. I will actually insert a screenshot of the shade range on Ulta. It's even worse than CoverGirl. They don't even have my shade selling in Ulta. They do have Soft Sable, but they, I think that is the only dark shade that they sell in Ulta on the website at least. And then all the other shades are for more fair tone women. I don't understand why so I really do not like that at all like I said yeah. since they have the queen collection so the girl, girl would cater to women of colors shade ranges but um it doesn't look like they did in this foundation but yeah this is what it looks like I'm actually going to go ahead and take some pictures in a minute that really lets me know when I'm in natural lighting versus my um soft boxes what everything really really looks like but right now I really do like it the finish is still really nice it's not super matte at all like it was not matte at all it had a lot of radiance to it which i do not mind at all but like i said if you're oily you might not like that but after i have set my face and everything i still think that it looks really really good so y'all let me know what y'all think and then i will see you guys in a couple of hours and if y'all want any information on the wig that I'm wearing, I have already done a review and how I styled it. So I will leave that in the description as well as in the eye so you can check that out. Okay y'all, so I'm back and it is now 8.40. 8.40, so it's been like roughly five hours or so. I have eaten, I just been around the house cleaning up, doing laundry, you know, little things like that. So I definitely noticed that around my mouth area it looks like the foundation has disappeared a little bit hopefully y'all can see around my mouth it is not fully covered like it was before and right here you can still see my mold a little bit so i feel like the foundation is starting to disappear which is a little bit weird more so on this side but on my right side i can still see that as well and i hope it picks up on camera but in this area of my face, it looks more dewy than the rest of my face. So that's the only thing I'm really noticing right now. It does not feel cakey at all. I honestly feel like I'm not really wearing anything. Now, seeing that it's a little bit of oil speaking through, I am not sure how this will hold up for the summertime. And I definitely do not recommend this for oily skin because if I'm dry and I got a little bit of oil speaking through, if you're oily, girl, 
all your oils are probably gonna be just pouring out, just pouring out everywhere. And no oily girl wants that to happen. So I would say this is for normal to dry skin. That's just my opinion. Then like the disappearing act around my mom. I don't really see anything else that's like problematic. I think that it still looks pretty good. What y'all think? Let me know if you have tried this foundation. Let me know what other foundations or concealers, whatever it is that y'all want me to review next. Um, but yeah, leave me video suggestions. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure your notifications are on. And make sure you are following me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see y'all in my next video.